Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be playing with some makeup that I just can't wait any longer to try out. Some of these things I purchased myself. Most of them were sent to me in PR recently, um, but like I have to try these out including the new Tatcha Silk Powder. I mean, come on. I also bought the Jaclyn Cosmetics Blush and Bronzer Duos forever ago and just haven't had a chance to sit down and film with them. So I wanna try those out. I also wanna try out these eyeshadow palettes and eyeliners maybe from Makeup by Mario. We've got some new matte tinted lip balms from NARS and everything else is just stuff that I've used before. So let's just get right into it. I am so excited to put these on my face and I'm gonna be doing a wear test today as well. I'm not gonna put any primer on today. I'm just gonna go straight into foundation. I'm wanting to use my Believe Beauty foundation. This is the Skin Finish foundation because since we're using a new powder, I wanna make sure that all the other complexion products or base products, I should say, are things I'm familiar with. So I'm just gonna start by applying this. After I apply it with a brush, I'm just pressing it into the complexion with my sponge. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I've got the shade Fair. Just gonna apply that in the center of the face and under the eyes. Cause again, this is a concealer that I'm super familiar with. So I wanted to make sure that I chose things that normally wear well on me so I can really see how the powder wears. Okay, so base makeup is on. Now it's time to try out the new Tatcha, the Silk Powder. I'm gonna pull it up here on Sephora and just see what it's all about. So this retails for $48. It is not a cheap powder by any means. But Tatcha is a skincare company, so when they make makeup-y products, it's usually full of really good ingredients. Let's read a little bit about this. So it has silk extract in it, it has silk powder, and then there are a bunch of anti-pollution and blue light ingredients, which shield skin from stressors that may cause the look of premature aging. In the clinical study, 100% showed instant improvement in skin texture, the appearance of pores, the appearance of fine lines, and skin radiance. Okay, and this is also talc-free. It's supposed to be blurring and a little bit glowy is what I'm gathering. I guess I could have read the back of the box. It literally says all that on the back. Here's the packaging if you're wondering. So they actually have a little sample of the liquid silk canvas in here. I do want to try this out in partnership with the liquid silk canvas at some point, but again, I really didn't want to get too confused or too fancy with a lot of different products on the complexion, just so I can really see how this wears. So here is the packaging. It's nice and rounded. It's just a simple plastic packaging. Whoa, look at the inside. How am I supposed to use this? Okay, I'm assuming that maybe this rubber thing. Yeah, there you go. So you just pull off the little stopper and then that's how the powder gets distributed, okay. I'm just gonna tip this over and kind of pat it down. Oh, I should have probably put the lid on. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of product. <laughs> it's an expensive powder. Okay, I wanna show you guys the color. Hopefully it's picking up on camera. It's um, supposed to be a translucent powder, but it definitely has a little bit of a slight yellow undertone compared to other powders that I am used to using. Let's go ahead and do one side of the face with it, and then we can see and compare and see if there's any difference between the two. So I'm gonna start by applying this underneath the eyes. Just pressing that underneath and then going down the side of the nose. I'm wanting this all over the face today. Okay, so it is actually slightly deeper than my skin tone because I am so fair. I don't know if you can tell the slight difference. It's not too obvious, but it will definitely tint the face slightly yellow if you're as fair as me. I'm just taking a bit more and setting the outsides of the face. And then because I always do this with any powder, I'm just gonna gently take the sponge and kind of press over everything. Okay, yeah, I definitely see the slight golden glow that this gives the skin. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but you can kind of see it here on my cheeks. So here's before, here's after. It definitely mattifies, but um, it doesn't look or feel too heavy. Let's go ahead and set the other side of the face. Okay, so I've just applied the rest all over the face and I'm pressing that down with my sponge. I do like the glow that it gives. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but it definitely does have a nice sheen to it. I do feel like my pores are slightly emphasized in the center of the face just because of that sheen in the powder, but I don't think it's like a deal breaker overall. I feel like it looks pretty. I don't know if I'm like wowed the way I thought it would be based off the application, but it does look nice on the skin and of course a wear test will matter because sometimes powders look more powdery obviously when you first apply them, but maybe as I wear this throughout the day, it'll look a little bit more, um, What's the word? Like meshed into 
my complexion, like more natural. Not that it doesn't, it's sometimes really hard to explain what's going on in my head as I do these reviews, but hopefully you know what I mean. Okay, let's move on to the next step, which is the bronzer and blush duos. I ended up buying two shades. So I have Lilac Love and Top Tan. I'm so excited to finally be using these. The packaging is so nice. Look at this. So it's a nice sleek sheen packaging with the J logo here. Here's the lighter shade. Again, this is Lilac Love and Top Tan. And then the next shade, uh, Pink Me Up and Oh Honey is this one right here. I don't know which one I wanna use. Do I mix both? Hmm. I feel like I should start with the lightest shade and then, you know, if I wanna deepen it up or mix the slightly deeper shade, I can. So here we go. I'm gonna take the bronzer. Wow, this mirror is really nice. I feel like people have been saying that about these. I'm just gonna start kind of using circular motions to buff and blend this into the complexion. The pans are actually a lot larger than I thought they would be, just based off of the pictures when I bought them on her website. Oh, wow. You guys know how much I love bronzer, first of all, but you also know how I can be heavy handed with my bronzer sometimes. So that's why I always look for a formula or shade that can kind of work with me there. And I feel like this really is. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's adding just the right amount of color without being too over the top, in my opinion. I'm just taking this down the neck as well. Wow, I really like that. I don't know if I need to add the deeper one for this look. I did layer this up quite a bit because again, I like a little bit of a heavier bronzer look, but I'm really enjoying how smoothing that looks on the skin. Wow, yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, let's try out the blush. So this one is a little bit more of like a lavendery shade, which I thought would be really pretty because I'm into more cool tone blushes. So I'm just gonna smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. Blending it up and back. Whoa, that's really pretty. I'm really liking this whole baked formula situation. Wow, so nice, you guys. I'm also heavy handed with blush and I feel like this kind of made it easy for me to build up blush the way that I like to, but it doesn't look overdone at all. This is really nice. Maybe I'll layer a, just a little bit of the pink one in this one called Pink Me Up. Just do a tiny bit towards the higher portions of the face right here. Since we've got this open, maybe I'll just put a teeny bit of the slightly deeper, slightly warmer bronzer. Yeah, you can tell it's slightly warmer, this one. Um, the other palette is more for neutral undertones, if I'm not mistaken. This looks really nice, you guys. Which makes me excited because I did have really high hopes for these bronzer and blush duos. Wow, pretty. Okay, we're gonna move on to brows. I'm just gonna do this really quick off camera using my Thrive Cosmetics brow pencil. Okay, so brows are on. I feel like I filled them in way thicker than I normally do. I don't know, maybe I'm just making that up, but it kind of seems like they're a little more defined than usual, but that's okay. I feel like this one was too small now compared to the other one, so I'm trying to thicken it up a little bit to match the other brow. It's kind of like a winged liner situation, you know? Like if you get one eye a little too thick on the wing, you have to match it and then it just turns into a disaster. It's kind of happening with brows today. What on earth? Okay, well, we're just gonna leave it there. Okay, I really wanted to try out one of these Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palettes. I've heard amazing things about the matte palette specifically, so I think I'm gonna start with that one. We'll see if we wanna add shimmers later. Here's this one right here. It's all mattes, all neutrals. It's so funny because I'm a huge fan of Mario, Makeup by Mario, the one who created this line. And I, for some reason, didn't like run out and grab this, but I know so many people who ended up trying it really love it. So I'm hoping that's gonna be the case for me as well. Like maybe I will enjoy it more than I thought I would. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. They're literally just called matte one, matte two, matte three. So this is called matte three. And I'm just gonna start applying that in the transition a little bit. This is slightly peachy. I actually feel like I could use it as an all over base, to be honest. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna apply it all over the lid. I'm gonna make sure there's no concealer in the crease and then do the same thing on this eye. I'm already noticing how buttery these are. It's almost like a hydrating feeling on the eyes. Again, it, sometimes it's so hard to explain how a product feels with words, but that's how this feels to me. Let's just start to deepen things up slightly. So I'm gonna take this shade right here next called Matte 5, kind of into this mustardy tone. 
And I'm just gonna start building this up on the outer third and into the crease. I'm going back into the first brush we used just to make sure that the second shade we applied is super blended up toward the brow. Yeah, these are so buttery. They feel really nice. I can see why people have been kind of raving about this palette. I am just gonna take the exact same shade. I'm gonna pinch the brush with the same brush that I used for the top lid and I'm just gonna start applying this to the lower lash line. Next, I'm just taking the brush we used with the transition shade and I didn't add any more product to it. I'm just wanting to kind of buff those edges together. So I'm just lightly sweeping that around the edges of the eye right here and then also underneath the lower lashes, just super gently. Okay, I can't decide if I wanna just do an entirely matte look or let me open up this second palette called the Master Metals Eyeshadow Palette. And this one has all these really cool metallic shades in it. I feel like I wanted to stick to one palette today because I'm trying, you know, a few new things. I don't like to overwhelm myself with these types of first impression videos. Sometimes it's hard for me to figure out how I feel about something if I layer too many things. So I'm just gonna stick to this palette. We're gonna take the matte one shade though, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And we're gonna start to create a little bit of definition right here on the lid. Okay, wow, so that's pretty light. But I feel like it does a really nice job at blending into the other shades. That's pretty. I'm doing like a gentle cut crease with this. I don't care if the line is super intense, but I just want there to be a pretty clear definition between um, the lid space and then the crease. Going back in with that very first brush again, just buffing these edges out. I'm gonna try the eyeliner. I don't normally wear eyeliner, but I wanted to try out the Master Pigment Pro pencil in the shade Perfect Brown. It looks like this. I just feel like with that brighter lid, this could look really, really nice. Super up close to the lashes, just defined all the way across. So that's what I'm gonna do. Whoops, I'm kind of making a mess. This is a really soft pencil. The other side has a brush. Okay, let's try that out. I'm just gonna blend out that liner with the brush on the other side. Okay, well that liner got a lot thicker than I anticipated. Um, I feel like this is a very um, Bobbi Brown type of liner look. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so the liner is on. I do not usually wear liner like this and I don't feel like I got it very even. I'm not that good at eyeliner, I feel like. Maybe a little mascara will help. So I'm gonna go in with my Bite Beauty mascara and apply this to the top and bottom lashes. I think I want a little bit of a bright waterline, so I'm gonna take my ColourPop um, Cream Gel Liner in Honey Dude. Oh my gosh, I totally meant to talk about how grateful I am for you guys. Okay, so earlier this week I posted my video announcing my ColourPop bundle that I was able to create with ColourPop. You guys, I don't even think you understand how much your love and support just lifted me up. I loved reading through all the comments. I loved reading through my DMs and seeing my comments over on Instagram. You guys are seriously so incredible. Thank you to everybody who picked up the bundle. I cannot wait to see the looks that you create with it. Um, if you missed that video, I will have it linked down below, but this is part of my bundle, so I'm gonna use it in this look as well. Normally I would do this step before applying lower lash mascara, but I didn't know that I wanted to, so I'm just being really careful applying it now. You know what, I was going to wear highlighter today, but I almost think I'm gonna just leave the cheek products alone because the powder and the blush bronzer duos are both a little bit more on the radiant side. I am, however, going to take highlighter. This is just the Benefit Dandelion, Dandelion Glow. No, Dandelion Twinkle. I knew it was something like that. Um, this was the highlighter that I was going to use, but I'll just use it in the inner corner to kind of make the inner corner of the eyes pop and under the brows. Okay, we are going to dip into um, these NARS matte lip, what are they called? Soft matte tinted lip balms. I love the NARS tinted lip balms. I'm just gonna try on a shade. This is called Unrestricted. I don't know which one I want yet. Ooh, okay, this is so pretty. I feel like I could see myself reaching for this on like an everyday basis with a really simple eye look with just mascara on. Since the eyes are leaning a little more warm tone, I'm kind of wanting to find something a little more peachy. Let's see what else we have here. We have this one called Brief Encounter. Okay, and then we also have Intimate, which is this one. Ooh, this one might be pretty. 
Let's try Intimate first. I really like the kind of whipped formula that this has. Okay, that's definitely a little more pinky peach. I think that looks really pretty. While we're at it, let's just try this other shade too. Um, it comes in a lot more shades than this. I just pulled the ones that were a little more on the nude side so I could hopefully find one that would match the look. Okay, that's pretty too. That one's a little more rosy. All right, I'm gonna start with a lip liner. This is the Patrick Ta lip liner in the shade Oshi Single. This one has a little bit more of that brown tone that I am looking for. So I figured maybe I'll just put this on first. And then I think I like the shade um, Intimate for all over the lips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and layer this on top. All right, let's step back and assess the situation. I'm gonna go back into the lighter palette from Jaclyn Hill, the Lilac Love Top Tan, and add just a bit more of that bronzer. I'm gonna layer a little bit more of this on the cheeks, almost as a blush, just because the tones on the eyes and the lips are a little bit less uh, bright pink, so I just wanna kind of mute the pink a little. But I really like that pink shade a lot. I just wanna make sure you know it goes with this eyeshadow palette. Okay, next I'm just gonna set the brows with my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I'm not gonna wear a setting spray today because again, I just wanna see how um, the powder wears and if it's like super dewy at the end of the day or if it controls oils well, we will find out. Okay, so my makeup is complete. We're gonna go ahead and do a wear test. It's almost 5 p.m., so it's a little bit later in the day. Um, I'm gonna wear this for as long as possible, and I'll be doing like vlog check-ins. I'm gonna keep it a little more casual today as far as the check-ins go. I'll give you a quick briefing on my first impressions. I don't know if I like the powder as much as I wanted to. There's just something about it that kind of looks heavy right now, but again, we'll wear it through the day and see if that changes. I really, really liked how the bronzer applied. I mean, I feel like it's super smooth and the blush looked beautiful as well. The eyeshadow palette formula was super buttery. I feel like my skills weren't that good with the eyeliner, but the eyeliner itself was a nice formula. And then this lipstick is really nice. Since it's like a tinted lip balm, it feels really hydrating, but it does have that slight matte finish. All right, so. Let's do a wear test. So I'll see you guys in a little bit for my very first check-in and then I'll update you guys on what I feel like is worth it. So let's go right into the wear test. Okay, so here's my first check-in by my window right after filming. So this is my makeup freshly applied. I definitely feel like once I'm in natural light, you can see the sheen and the radiance that the powder gives. It looks nice in this lighting. I don't know, I still feel like it emphasizes some texture right here, but from far away, it's really, really pretty. I don't know. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on what it looks like in natural light. We will continue to wear this, obviously, for as long as possible, and I will keep you posted on how everything holds up. So yeah, here's what everything looks like now, and let's see how it looks in a couple hours. Hi friends, here's a little car vlog for you. I am looking quite glowy. Um, that powder definitely has a very, very glowy golden sheen to it. The thing is, it's not like separating or anything, but I still feel like it emphasized my pores here, which honestly, I really do like how it looks on parts of my face. So maybe next time I wear it, I would try to just apply it to like the outer portions of the face and keep um, the center more mattified because... I mean, maybe I should have already guessed this, but you guys probably know I tend to get oily in the T-zone. I have larger pores in the T-zone. So usually more like luminous products right here tend to emphasize things, but you know, we had to try it out. So this is how things are looking at 8 p.m. I forgot to say the time. So I've been wearing this for three hours and I'll keep wearing it and keep you posted. All right, you guys, so it's currently 11.08. So I've only been wearing this for six hours, which isn't as long as my normal wear test, but I've been really, really consistently looking at my complexion all day long. And I feel like I have a solid opinion on everything. So let's start off with the powder. I really liked the packaging, like the innovative inside. I thought it was really, really cute. I was confused though because I haven't really enjoyed how my skin looks. Like I said, it just keeps getting more and more dewy and my pores keep getting more and more emphasized. Do you see that right there? So I was a little bit confused and I never look up reviews before trying a product, especially when I'm filming it, just so I can really get my genuine reaction on it. 
Um, but since I had an opinion, I went on Sephora just now and kind of watched some of the videos from Tatcha and they said less is more. <laughs> they also said use a fluffy brush and just kind of buff a little bit. The fluffier the brush, the better. I definitely used a much more dense brush and kind of packed it on the way that I would another setting powder that I'm used to. So I don't love how it looked today, but I can't say that I used it properly. So I will give it another chance later, but I still kind of feel like like I have um, other setting powders in my collection that I personally prefer just because I do have such an oily t-zone by the end of the day like I need something that's not going to be super glowy um, and that's why I feel like I could use it on maybe the outer portions of the face so I'm going to try it again right now I'm on the fence um, the eyeshadow palette I felt like was nice obviously it's a very simple kind of a eyeshadow look but I did really like how buttery it felt and how smooth it blended out. The bronzer and the blush were probably my favorite things that I tried today. Again, I really liked the baked formula. I felt like me as a heavy-handed applier when it comes to blush and bronzer. It was really nice to have something that was just gonna blend itself out basically and the blush and the bronzer have stayed really nicely and pigmented all day long. The lip color I thought was really beautiful as well. I ate dinner so it has rubbed off now but I really did like it and I will continue to wear those as well. I think it's nice to have like a more matte tinted lip balm type of a product. So that's everything I tried, right? I mean, I guess the eyeliner too. I'm still not a huge eyeliner person so I'm not the person to go to for like eyeliner recommendations but I liked how it wore. Um, overall, I feel like my makeup looked decent today. I wasn't as excited as I thought I would be about the powder specifically as I was going into it, but again, I'm gonna have to try it again. I almost feel like I wish I would have watched those videos beforehand, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, here's what my makeup looks like at the end of the night. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Like, has anyone tried the Tasha Silk powder? Have you guys tried the blush and bronzer duos? I would love to hear your feedback in the comments because I feel like my opinion is just one opinion. So I would love to hear if you guys have tried these, what you guys think. I love starting those conversations. So be sure to comment down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, we wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I hope you guys enjoyed this more casual vloggy type outro. I hope you guys found this review video helpful. Let me know if there's anything new that's launched that you would like me to review next in the comments. And I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. I'll see you in my next video. Love you, bye. I can only do one hand because I'm vlogging, but love you guys. Have a good day, bye bye.